Okay guys, I just want to give you an update on the project here. Um, I took the hood off because I didn't like the way that the Plasti Dip, uh, it left a lot of texture on the hood. And so I want to take it off to just totally kind of redo it, but off the car. So it's sitting vertically and the Plasti Dip will spray better. And also I switched the cans. Um, again, I just want to point out something. Look at my garage, it's a mess. Uh, but I got the cheaper version of a Wagner uh, and this did not work good at all for multiple reasons. It, it sprayed okay, um, and I mean okay, but the biggest problem it had was that it clogged, like completely just clogged up on me in the middle of the job. You know, I was mixing the stuff one-to-one, -one, as it says to, with acetone, and the gun just stopped working. I had to rush out and um, get some spray cans and actually finish the job on the car, which I still got some toning and finishing to do. But I got a point I want to make here. Um, you know, everybody says for Plasti Dip, Plastic Aping, a complete car, you want to get the Pro Kid or you want to go and, you know, get the airless gun like that one I have there and do it. But, you know, I'm thinking about this and I really think you can do this with spray cans and it actually lays a lot better. For instance, I'm going to show you something. So this is uh, the beginnings of, let me try to focus a little bit here, of the hood. Um, you know, I, it's still the stripes and it still has to have more coats. And as the more coats I put on there, the more it'll disappear, those stripes, and it'll be one complete unit. But I want to say something, <laughs> minus the uh, trash on the floor, sorry there for the, uh, the uh, pork rinds, side point. Um, this was only one can. This was only one can of sprayable Plasti Dip. Uh, and uh, this was at uh, Home Depot, or you can go to Lowe's, you know, five ninety seven. This little hand, five ninety eight or something like that. This little handle costs two dollars and cent some change. Very good, very useful. Um, and it just helps with the whole motion of spraying. You know, your trigger finger doesn't get tired. But that was just one can. I mean, I'm sure by two cans or maybe even three. We'll see because I got more definitely. Um, how this goes, but that's a very large area. And that's a lot of plastic dip for just one can. So if you think about it, you may not have to go with the whole air, airless gun and or gravity fed gun if you choose to do that with the compressor and mix it and everything. You probably can almost plastic dip this entire Porsche. It's not a very large car with cans. And it'll turn out a lot better because like if you look here at the top, I got some texturing going on and some things. Um, and that was because you see like drip marks. That was from the gun dripping because the nozzle wasn't set right and I had all kind of nozzle problems on there dripping the plastic dip on there but if you look here and you look towards the side there there's 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 no texturing really going on there I mean there's some because it's plastic dip and it's still drying there's no drips there's no nothing along the side I know I'm comparing a top to a side that's a different story but just putting out there you know that this is something that can be done without having to actually mix it you can just do this with can so I'm going to give you some more updates, uh, let you know what's going on um, there, and uh, let you see the finished product, but I just wanted to point that out to you guys. All right, thanks for watching.